Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Blockception server. Uh, we are up near the surface right now, and as you can see, I've got some ice laid out around here. I used ice just because it's pretty easy to break once I'm done with it, and I fell in a hole. Uh, so yeah, what this ice is marking out is the spacing on the four towers of the Iron Golem farm. So one platform is going to go there, then 65 down. There is another one. Uh, down there you can see there's a tree harvesting area because I'm going to need lots of wood for doors. But there's one right here. Down here there's one. And over there there is one. So we're going to have four towers in this system. That's the plan. Uh, and that should be a pretty good iron rate. So looking forward to having that. Although I actually don't need it as much now because they did change anvils to be cheaper. But definitely still want it. So, well, first of all, you've probably noticed this by now. I'm a little bit sick again. So, voice might sound a little weird. You might hear some sniffly or something of that sort. So, I apologize for that, but not much I can do aside from not record, and I really want to get started on this. So, this is going to be a 20 by 20 platform. Uh, to do all this, I'm following DocM's tutorial, by the way. So, if you want to know how to do this I will link his tutorial in the description if I actually remember because I probably won't so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna build pretty much most of this on camera and after I build the first one on camera, just the first module, I'll show you the spacing, how I'm doing it. And after that, I'm not really going to show you anything else. I'm just going to build the rest off camera and show you when it's pretty much wrapped up. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Sorry. So we're going to have a 20 by 20 platform here to start us off. And we want to torch this nice and well. By the way, I'm using cobble for this. I am planning on putting a casing over it eventually. So it's not always going to look like crap. I just don't think I'm really going to bother leaving these things floating. So I will probably just put a casing on them. P probably some kind of tower or something. I'm not really sure. But I do know I'm going to case them, so that's why I'm making them out of cobble. So, things to talk about while I'm filling this in. Uh, I started off the Crisis LP. Uh, not getting many views on that. I'd encourage you to watch that. I mean, I understand if you don't really want to. I don't really care that much. I will play it regardless. But yeah, getting some more views on that would be nice. I've been advertising it a little bit, but don't want to be too spammy about it and I don't really know where else I could advertise it aside from a couple of reddits so anyway yep just building a 20 by 20 floor here no big deal uh, also we've still we only recorded that first segment of uh, Shogun with Andy at the moment I'm not we're not gonna release that until it's finished because he's very inconsistent about when he can record and I don't want to be I don't want to start releasing and then have us get to a point where he can't record and we're not going to be able to keep a schedule on it. Oh yeah, speaking of schedule, uh, Crisis, for those of you who are watching it, will be out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week. So, nice consistent schedule there, something I haven't really had in a while, ever since I started school up again. So that's nice to have again. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this floor here. And I'll see you when I'm done with that. Okay, guys, so we got our floor, and the next thing is a three high wall all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, so I built the wall. Our next step is we are going to set up the doors. If it is now, it's now turning nighttime, I'm going to have to deal with that in a moment. But how we're going to do this, I believe we have blocks on the corner. And we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then like that. Now what we're gonna do is go across placing doors to fill in these gaps. So we're gonna have six doors per side. I believe you can fit in seven, but I'm not gonna bother with that. Pretty much this whole thing I'm exactly following it from the tutorial. So you're pretty much seeing the same thing here as you would in the tutorial. Although, yeah, there's not really much I can say there. It's basically this basically is the tutorial that I watched. All right, so let's place these doors. Okay, so you see how I did it on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on all the other sides, and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put in all the doors. I put some torches on, but I still do need a couple up top here. And now we are going to do the water currents. And I don't have ice. Crap. Hold on. Need to get some ice. Mob system has it doing. Not great. Okay, so I think we have ice up here. Yeah, there's some ice. Maybe some more over here. Yep. And let's take these jack-o'-lanterns as well. Might save us the trouble of making torches. So we can already see some of the tower form in here. These things are actually pretty easy to build. So it probably won't take me too long. I mean, they're not really a very complicated design. I'm not sure what Cribbles is talking about. I think he might be talking about villager breeding. Otherwise, I'm kind of concerned... All right. Okay, so as for these water currents, what we're going to do here is first place these four blocks in the corner here, and you'll see why this is in a moment. Uh, yeah, feel free to subscribe to him, although he hasn't really made many videos yet because he is lazy. And he has a derpy graphics card. But anyway, so we're going to place ice every other block all the way around here. You can use water buckets for this if you want. I just prefer ice. And you just got to make sure that you get a perfect stream all the way around. So I'm going to place all this. I'll just keep this on camera since it's pretty easy. And dun dun dun. Oh, some of them are already melting. That's convenient. So you can see what this is going to do. It's going to create a bunch of sources. And what we want is it should create a 2x2 two two opening in the water right in the center, which will be perfect. That's exactly what we need. And as this water is flowing, it'll update all the ice. I just like ice better because it's easier to come through here with an efficiency pick than to fight the current while placing water. So yeah, you can now see we've got this here. And that's perfect. So this is where our golems will be dropping. And now, we're in a snow biome, aren't we? Or did I just forget to break these? Let's see if these come back. That never really occurred to me. Although, yeah, I think I might have just forgot to break those. Yeah, we're not in a snow biome. What am I thinking? Okay, so now that we did that, we're going to break these blocks. And you can see the water kind of flows in in a weird way instead of creating a source. And we're going to take an ice block, put this here, or it'll melt. And then we place a block there. Crap, that did not work as expected, I don't think. Oh, yeah, yeah, it did. That worked fine. Okay, so we got that over here. Yeah, I think we are in a snow biome. I'm not sure why this isn't melting. I might have to put torches all the way around then. Whoa, what? Why is this... Ah, that's so annoying. Okay, break. There we go. I might start. I might just use the water bucket for these corners, because apparently it doesn't like ice. Yeah, it's refreezing. That's annoying. So let's put water right here. I didn't mean to do it like that break this then put water right here and that is the right kind of stream we want not I really don't understand why that ice keeps turning back into ice 
I'm not sure if this is a snow biome or not, but even then, the torches should stop it. Alright, so we've got another one there. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a perfect stream that no matter where something is in it, it will get pushed back to the center. And we want them to drop to the center, because that's pretty much the goal of the whole farm, is to collect them all in one area. Oh, that worked. Okay. Alright. So we have this set up now, and this is how our water currents are going to go, and we only have one more step left in this module. And I'm not going, I don't know, I might actually do that step now. Yeah, I think I will. So I'm going to get up, back up and ready for that step, and then I'll talk to you again. Alright guys, so first things first, I got some more torches, and I placed them all the way around. And I placed some on the corners here, so there should be no no mob spawning up here. And there shouldn't be any freezing down there now with those torches. But now what we're working on is the villager holding area. Uh, you can see right here, this comes out 5, and it is 6 wide. And what we're going to do now is build a wall around it. So like this. Just too high. And... We're eventually going to have some half slabs on top of this wall. But right inside of here, this is where our villagers are going to be. And the thing is, they can glitch out of here. So we want to take ice here, 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 and here. And we get a vortex to the center, and that will keep anything from getting near the corners and glitching out. So, yeah, that's the basic way I'm going to be holding the villagers. So the next step is to actually get some up here. So I'll probably just uh, let my villager breeder run for a while. If it still functions with this here, it might not. But, yeah, I'm going to have to bring some villagers over. I need to get some elevators going into these breeding chambers. And that's kind of the most tedious part of this whole thing. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to get working on getting some villagers up in this general area and we'll load them in and then we'll be pretty much done with this module okay I was wrong I just realized uh, we are missing a step we need to build a wall around here like this and we're gonna build a second uh, farm right on top of here like a whole nother water area so we get a lot more spawning space out of that, and that's definitely worth it, so I want to do that. Anyway, you've all you've seen how the whole thing's built, so I'm just going to build it again and show it to you at the end. Okay guys, the second layer has been all built. Nothing too complicated, doesn't need the doors or anything, so that's pretty much all you got to do for this. So let's try to drop down safely, and get out of here. Well, that's not very useful. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. That's better. Okay, so, yeah, we've got to get villagers in here. That should be fun. So I'm going to set up some water elevators and everything and start moving some villagers up here. Alright, guys, these three brave men are volunteers to go over to the sugarcane farm and reproduce the population for the trading station. Everybody else in there right now is going to go into the Iron Golem farm. So hopefully we can get those guys in there and I don't know, we may not we might have to go breed some before we can have enough to fill all of the slots in the Iron Golem farm. So that'll be a pain, but I suppose that's just going to happen. So I'm going to very carefully bring these guys over to the sugarcane farm and seal them away somewhere safe. And I'll be back. Okay, well that went better than I expected. It only took a couple modifications to the track to get them all here. So now I'm just going to take some random spots in the wall here. Like here, I guess, and keep them separate. And we are going to place track in them. And it doesn't really matter if the villager stays in the cart. I just want to get him in there. That's pretty much the only thing that matters, because as long as he's in there, he's pretty safe. Uh, I do want to put torches in there also. 
And just nudge him on in there. Come on. Go. Go. There we go. So yeah, we have our villagers secured here. And I'll see you when we get back over to the iron farms. Alright guys, and we are back. I've been working on transporting these villagers over here. So what I did is I made a elevator that I believe goes all the way up to the surface. I still need to put a couple signs in it or something. But I've got this hooked up right here, so I'm just going to send a minecart in there and get these. Looks like I got ten, which should be a good start. I should be able to get at least one module running, and I'll have to go breed some more over at the sugarcane farm. But for now, this will be a good start. So yeah, I'm going to start carting these guys over. I'm going to get that sign in there. By the way, how I did this, this is all source blocks. I dug the hole and then I stacked up with ice and dug my way back down, which is a really effective way to make a full source block pool. A lot easier than actually like placing blocks and placing buckets on them. and That can be really tedious and you can't really see where the source blocks are underwater, so it's kind of an issue. I just prefer this method. So anyway, I'm going to finish up this elevator and move all of our villagers up to a little safe box I've got up there. Alright guys, so I got my damn villagers and it took quite a while to get them in the stupid elevator, but I finally got them all. So I think we've got... Let's see. Oh, do we really have that many? I don't think we have 16 exactly. I'm not sure how many are in there, but... Uh, we I know we did lose a few due to uh, stuff that was kind of out of my control, aka the villagers randomly vanishing and probably glitching through walls like halfway up the water elevator and falling to their death, which seems like something they would do. But I've got as many as I could get here, and we are going to start carting them over to that tower now. And putting them in the four modules there, I'm going to build elevators up to them. And I need to bring them up pretty much simultaneously if I want the sides to be even. So I'm going to get working on that. And I'll probably put that in fast footage for you because I think it'll be slightly entertaining. I just realized I have this one villager here that I didn't deal with. I'm debating what to do with him. I'm considering just killing him. I mean, his trade's pretty good, but it doesn't matter. If I don't kill him, I'll put him in an iron golem farm. Because he might interfere otherwise, but... Huh. That's a tough one. I think I'm just going to kill him, because it's going to be really inconvenient to get him up to the rest of the villagers, so, uh, uh, how can I do this humanely? Lava. Lava seems good. I don't think that's at all humane, but it's okay. So... Give him a lava bath. There we go. 
So that is going to be all for now, and I will see you back up the surface. Okay guys, so you've seen the procedure here. Uh, if you're wondering why I didn't put that other villager in, I think I've stated this before. I want to put them in pretty close together, because that way all the sides will be even. Otherwise, you'll get one side that has more villagers, and it doesn't really hurt the system that much, but it might unbalance it a little bit. And for some reason, he wants to breed. I don't know why. He shouldn't breed, though. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing. I'm going to need to go down and break those doors now. Uh, because I'm going to need this. But I'm going to go ahead and build the other three villager chambers and get villagers set up to go. Uh, I'm going to put them all in, and then I'll come back, and this module should be ready to go. Alright guys, so we are back and all of our villagers are ready to go. Got a villager in there, inside of the box and here, and it's the same setup for all four of these. So over there, and right here there's a villager in a box, so ready to go here. How I got the villagers over here is I kind of built a rail around here, dropped one in, broke the cart, pushed another one in here, then brought it around... Then did the same thing over here, and that one I did separately, and that one was the first one in the sequence. So now, uh, first things first, I'm going to go downstairs and uh, bust up all the doors that are currently in our villager breeder. And then we're going to come back up here, and we're going to nudge these villagers in, and they should start breeding, and we should have a very slow but functional iron farm. So I will be back when we're pushing the villagers in. Alright guys, so I knocked out the doors down there and these villagers are ready to breed. So I'm going to start moving them in. Uh, meanwhile, a couple things I want to talk about. I'm not actually sure if I have talked about this. I don't think I have. Um, there's this guy called Guardian Slant on YouTube and this villager escaped. I need to get him in there quick before he runs. Oh crap run come on get in there we go uh yeah there's a guy called guardian slant and i invited him to the server and normally i'll either just get like a major yes or a flat out no like the person has a very clear answer but this guy actually he made a whole lp where he basically just talked about this the entire time and I appreciated that. Uh, he also said he might want to do some collabs, so that might happen at some point. But uh, yeah, Guardian Slant, I'd recommend checking him out. Seems like a pretty cool guy. I like his LPs. But right now, he just can't really join up with the server due to school issues, just being swamped, which I understand completely. Uh, what are you doing, you idiot? Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Talking to the villager, not me. I can handle myself, but... Alright, so he's in. We got two bays filled. And once we get these guys all in, this thing should start running. So we should start getting some iron golem output here. And if, I, if we get any iron golems, I'll definitely show you guys that. Alright, get in. I don't care about a little fall damage. You can take it. And then we're going to take out these rails and fix the torches. Uh, this bay and all the other lower bays are going to be the easy ones. It's going to be a bit more of a project to uh, get the top bays working properly. Or, yeah, because I'm going to have to make some kind of water elevator for it probably. With these, I just carted them in because it's a little more controlled. With that, I'll have to make a water elevator, which isn't too big of a deal. It's just... It's a pain to transition them from carts to water elevators, I've noticed. Like, when I was trying to do it to uh, get them out of my villager breeder and into a water elevator, I ended up making a direct water stream. Because they would glitch out as soon as I broke the cart, and then they'd vanish, glitch through a wall or something. I'd have to bring them back around. It would basically just keep happening. I could never get any in there. Alright, so let's break away all this extra cobble here, and get rid of these tracks, and we gotta replace some torches, but I am going to go ahead and uh, 
just finish up cleaning all this up and I'll be back with you and hopefully when I get back we'll have an iron golem hey guys just wanted to show you we have already got our first golem that is awesome that was really fast actually uh, there aren't even three villagers in each bay yet and I'm already getting golems which is epic let's just go ahead and kill this guy see how much iron we get I got a really nice sword so it shouldn't be too much of an issue that squid was a necessary casualty Die! Give me your iron! Alright, let's see. That was some amount of iron. Sorry, I already had iron in my inventory. But that is cool. That means we're already getting iron golem spawns. Uh, I think I'm going to be done for today playing. So, this is probably going to be last update for a very long time. Because I'm going to be building the rest of these towers now that I showed you how one works um, I probably will not even do a sped up montage or anything uh, th actually there will be probably two more updates where I explain the spacing and that will be the last updates before I just go ahead and build the whole farm so we are reaching the end of where the video is going to go and then the last update is just going to be me showing the farm finished so anyway, I'm going to AFK here for a while now and go do some other stuff. And then we should have plenty of villagers in here and be getting a decent rate of golems. Well, not a decent rate, but better rate than nothing. So we just want to build a bunch of these modules now. So that's going to be all for now, and I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, now that this module is completely wrapped up, our next step is to go up. So you can see right here, our Y level right here is 70. And we need, this is at the floor level. Wait, no, it's, we want 71. Because this is going to be where we're standing if we were to stand on the floor level of this module. So now we want to add exactly 70 to that. So I'm going to go up 70, which will be 141Y, and I'll see you up there. Alright guys, so now we are way up here at 141, and this is where we're going to start building the next module. So I'm just going to go ahead and do all of this off camera, obviously. And then I'll go up one more, do it again. And then I'll go over how to do the length of that. It's just 65 across there, but I'll go through it anyway. And then we're going to bas basically just repeat the same thing four times. So yeah, exciting. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to finish up this platform and then go up again. And all that will be off camera. And then we'll talk about that a little bit. So I'll see you in a while. Alright guys, uh, we finished most of the farm up. The top bay still needs some villagers. And I'm working on that, but that will be a little bit. But... Uh, I took some other footage of building a little improvised iron golem killing thing just f as a temporary thing, but that footage was a disaster. I don't even want to speak of that. Do iron golem... Oh. Well, that's interesting. There are 47 golems there, and as soon as I break that, they're all going to fall. Um, can I reach it? Oh! Move! Uh, but the general gist is that I made this iron golem holding area, and this button's going to kill them all. And we should get quite a bit of iron from this, I'd say. So I'm going to give it a shot now. The lava is getting held up by signs, so we shouldn't lose anything. These guys will take a while to burn. Alright. So let's turn off the lava. Actually, want to put one more addition in here. There we go. Is that only like a couple stacks? Really? That was a lot of golems. I find it hard to believe that that was only a couple stacks. Well, that's sad. Seriously, I thought that was going to be like a huge harvest. Alright, well I guess we need to AFK it some more or something. And normally, for removing this, I just 
place blocks here after I turned it off, because otherwise it's a pain. Alright, so yeah, this is my little improvised golem killer until I actually build the real one when I finish the whole all four towers. So yeah, I just wanted to show that off really quick. Uh, that's the end of this episode. I'm not going to do any more towers in this episode, because the first one basically took me a week. Because I've been pretty busy. Haven't had that much time to work on it. So from now on, these towers are going to be all off-camera work. I will get them done because I need to get them done. I really need all the iron that I get from them. But yeah, that's pretty much all. That's all I'm going to do for this episode. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, what is he talking uh, Okay. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, we got pretty good amount done. That What you saw there was like maybe... a four to five days of work with like two to three hours a day because those villagers transporting them is just a pain it's just a complete pain to deal with but anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode and until next time